to get the crowd going. Well, you and I were at the shoot-around, which is the practice that teams have on game against a Georgia Southern team that has really struggled. They have been on the road for the 0-6 to start the season as they get set to go against Michigan State. Before coming in to Georgia Southern and the tip control. Here's Walker getting started early and hits to get that ball inbounded. Nobody was back there awaiting the inbound. This is Tyron Moore. Here's Moore. Back it goes to Dean. Dean leaning in. A little, he's our best shooter right now. He's knocking down the three ball, but I think one thing he's entry to the post. Tough shot. Inside, whether Mati Sissoko shoots it or not, it draws the defense. Have been from three. More. A crease to the rim. Turnover back to Georgia Southern. Maybe a few words. Tell me what a good job I did. Yes. Did they usually start with. Here he is, ready to turn the corner. For Charlie Henry, he was head coach of the Windy City Bulls in the G League for a couple years. Born and raised, has a great relationship with Coach Izzo. He's been in the. Time coach in Michigan, the high school. Deuce Dean, he was a really good scorer at Hampton. He's come here. It's what we call. Against Tyron Moore. Eight minutes. Five to shoot on the baseline. Rebound batted out, but in the trailer. The three strong, and Walker has the rebound poked. Michigan State really needs to get going, and he's averaging 10 points a game and six rebounds. So the double comes late. This is so cool. He's another guy that has to come and deliver every battle that healthy now and he got stronger in the offseason too. Jeremy Fears Jr., a couple of freshmen enter the lineup and Carson Cooper. During the Black Friday sale. And celebrate the Cooper. And, uh, Xavier Booker coming in is, a, is another guy. If we know he can shoot, then he can make Michigan State that much better and quicker. Is it play a lot of minutes as a freshman because it's so difficult? That they generally don't need to score. They need to do everything else. In, in now we'll go to work on the offensive end. It's forcing Michigan State out. In the corner of the open man there, Aikens with Spartans up three. We have a plus delivers that. thousands of non-televised live the events. Yeah. There's no plus like home. The Subscribe and stream for as low as nine. Well, they end. started two for two, the but over their last four from the floor. The the well, you don't He's always, you can't always control whether you make is a jump shot. And those are the things that really make Michigan State basketball right there. With fears leading the break to Booker, Richard on the other end. So back to back blocks, and now Bryant off the shot fake will try. Tonight, Trey Holloman took his place in the lineup. Here's Eakins for three. Great energy because the crowd Fields wants him to succeed. The crowd wants to see Jay Eakins make shots. All it's time that those guys the bear down and the start knocking down some shots. First down. The manageable third down distance. They're able to get the ball right to Booker Curling. Here's Booker. He'll try from deep. The Brian Flores line. Down and defend Ooh. on the Ooh. other Ooh. end. Yeah, he's not going to be pleased with that as Cam Bryant's call off. Or subs coming in. Conference play is coming. It's going to be interesting to see, especially with Jackson Kohler. Well, Xavier's best Booker's best assets are one, he can shoot the ball. They're trying to do because. One, Xavier Booker's got to get better, but two. Or for the first time in that line change we saw a moment ago, as Fears flips one up the attack. Rejected by Sissoko. It's a block party to Jeremy Fears. Well, we mentioned earlier, get in the paint, play off two feet, and make the base game because, because of rotation. Turnover by Harris. Here's Carr on the drive. Rebound by Malik Hope. Completion to Kamal. Bryant, who's the dunk down the and an offensive foul. Field. Almost 22 and times a game. Yeah, I, I like the call. Tariq Lucas right on the play. The fish. <laughs> so if you just fall, not good. Wow, to Carr, and it just slipped off his fingertips. Paul is committed by Tidwell to send Carr to the line. Short, Carr takes it to the rim the off the break in a previous play. He missed the layup, tonight, but his shot's near that charge line. You get it to near the half circle down by the rim. Dripped out of his hands. Banks will start it up the floor. This is Tidwell for Michigan State, two for their last 10. And they should be able to, you don't advise
this, but he has three seconds to go to work. Deep three for Banks, and it's three third down conversions on this first possession. Georgia Southern inside to Malik Hall. All over one tonight. Now one once again. Eric Harris Jr., the top recruit in Georgia Southern. Really has just started to figure things out at this level, starting to see the And the super senior, Malik Hall, that's his best watch here. He challenges the shot, but then he turns, not just A.J. Hogard. A.J. Hogard's probably one of my favorite players in Michigan State history, but that was a challenge contest. He, he challenged it, but you've got a good defensive possession. Turtles. Zach Eady leaves number one Purdue against Texas Southern. Next, only colleague Robbie Hummel is on the call tonight. He played in the only other. Our great Big Ten colleague, Mr. Rob Hummel. Bank to the Southern end, and Malik Hall quickly to work in the post gets two more. He got the shot blocked, but he came down and guarded. No, we came back on offensive. Just let him make some plays. Because there are a few players that have a prettier baseline. A little too much tries to thread the needle. You just draw two and make the easy play. Stay up by eight. Defended by Jackson and Banks trying to penetrate against Holloman. Seven to shoot. Swing around to the open man. Three won't go, but another good look. Fears will return while they tend to Malik Hall. Holloman will leave. Breslin Center has Walker off the inbound. No, but Cooper there. Or just lead of the night for Mitch. Well, shot. Extra pass in the corner to Fears. Fears put on the brakes. He's growing, gets better. He's a really good Big Ten freshman. He's got it for their last seven. Haven't scored in over three and a half minutes. Curry will try to change it with a three. Can't box out. That's one you smile at when you're watching film the next day. That's right. That's right. Tom Izzo's frustrated with A.J. Hoka. It really doesn't have much to do with when Great push and look. Just didn't get the shot to fall. Excellent job. And those, he looks a little tired. Can he bear down and help his team get some stops? For Michigan State. And don't forget our scouting reports for four of these new teams. Well, I think that's a big part. The other big part is I think that could only help. And then the Big Ten, the Big Ten footprint extend. They're going to call him in the grasp. So the six take advantage. That's a big aspect. Of Tipped into the backcourt and then flipped back into play. I'm not sure that Jeremy Fears knew it. Probably one of their better communicates. The three for Bradford got a great off the feed from Tyson Walker. Carson Cooper out, go. You get the advantage on your big like Carson Cooper there. Here's Fears. Cooper can't finish this one in this first half for Michigan State. Walker on the drive and a foul underneath. And Carson Cooper at the helm. Everybody up and coming after Fields. Booker can't hit the front end. Can't. Something that's that's certainly not a characteristic of Michigan of, of how well they shot last year. But Tyson Walker, it's a tough one to explain. You know they're working on him. You know they're working on their jump. How much do you think Tyson Walker is feeling at this point? By that is. Joey, the ball went through him quite a bit. In the scramble to Walker. Walker inside just wriggles to the rim for Lither by Tyson Walker. And I, and I was involved in the recruitment of Tyson Walker. His ability to pass the ball, find a way to get the ball in that rim. It's uncanny. And Sissoko inside. In the post, showing the opponent. The ability, it has to force him to defend that. Off the defense I, I, and Georgia Southern offense. I think it's a lot of it. Michigan State. A little dive. And a 21 lead of the night. 20, 31 to 11. Game. These things are necessary. Because you take a guy like Xavier Booker who didn't play. If they want to do it, this is the type of game where you get Xavier Booker confidence. And because he can shoot the ball, and at worst he can stand there and be tall. But one thing coaches are tonight is using him in small segments. A couple of minutes here, a couple of how we see him in conference play. And I think that's fair. And it, general, it generally takes this college type of Division One level. When you look up and there's a guy who's as it's will push it up the floor around the Cooper screen. Percent from the floor in this first half. Malik Hall on the drive down the right side. Nine or ten guys through on the he regular, and they've played ten tonight. To you by 
and he told his team target. exactly this what it, they needed to do in that case. Trying to extend the run to 20 to 2. And here, and a foul underneath on Malik Tidwell. That'll be his second different colleges in his career, <laughs> which is a Division II school. Fifth spot for the Chicago native in five year old. And he was at Morton before that. And the whole journey began at the one of two to be in the Division I level for the first time. I was going to say Rolodex, but nobody would know what I'm talking about. You know what, finally you get that chance in your fifth stop. I mean, he's reaching that goal in his fifth school, getting the chance for the first time. But it does speak to resilience. I think it's it, the, the different coaches, the different styles. And as I said, I think the whole list of contact. And he strung that play out along no, i got to two. imagine there's a few times was that what happened at Missouri State West here. Plains? Maybe that's what we did at Bryant. I'd say if there's any confusion, just give me the ball and I'll launch it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Harris. Like keep the dribble alive against Tyson Walker. And Tyson Walker's first half will be over with a minute 18 to play in the half. Down his fourth rebound. Long pass ahead to Hogarth. Hogarth with the catch. A few times from A.J. Hogarth. Well, I'm just thinking those are the energy plays. Hogarth can scratch his claw. To get where Tom Izzo needs to begin. So he has safety help. to left and, and lay it in over the left side gone. of the rim and a smile on the, the face. Over gave him five. Johnson, he those really those are freshman play the plays again that, that you have to be able to do if you're going to play at this level is take risks. Free throw and 24 to two. Now 25. Our state of success brought to you by State Farm and one area that they've always gotten it done. Well, this is something that's one of the most well-respected offenses in the country. Is tough. But the other part is you've got to get five guys run. And it's the point guard. I think Mo Pete, Jason Richardson dunked on my head a couple of times. Catch and lob. There's a block. Georgia Southern one for their last 14 from the floor. Jamar Franklin transfer from South Alabama going to work. And we've got a whistle and a foul before he can get the opportunity to have to work in some different rotations right now that he'd probably like to do. Hogarth with three seconds in the corner. Malik Hall, his three balls. And the lob to Hogarth, no shot. 